microplastics and nanoplastics are emerging as a potential risk factor for cardiovascular disease in preclinical studies. Multiple studies took place including at Harvard and the New England Journal of Medicine. The rate of cardiovascular diseases is 4.5 times higher in people with microplastics. Blood vessel damage, inflammation and oxidative stress, endocrine disruption and many such problems have been identified. What further damage can MNPs cause a human heart? Let's find out with India's leading cardiac surgeon. Yes, it is a very significant knowledge that recently has come from multiple studies that show that the plastic particles in the body are very harmful to the overall body. We do not know whether it causes cancer or not. Definitely, it causes inflammation of the heart arteries or arteries in the body and probably in long term use is going to cause increased incidence of heart disease. We need more studies to show that, but we don't have to wait for these studies to uh, come out to show that the, it increases the incidence of heart disease or other vascular problem. Rather, we prevent using the common sense and knowledge. Nanoparticles have shown to do is increase the inflammation of the arteries in the body. Arteries in the body are they supply blood to the whole body. Not only heart, it brain, kidney, liver, your hand and leg, every function in the body because it needs nutrients, it needs oxygen. So artery is the one through which the blood supply. And that all the arteries are lined by a lubricating mechanism that layer is called endothelium. The health of endothelium is very, very important. Everything we do, unhealthy things, whether it is diabetes, blood pressure, smoking, late night eating, all these things also cause inflammation, make this endothelium the, or the lining of the blood vessels unhealthy. And plastic nanoparticles have shown cause inflammation to this blood vessels. At this stage, we do not know what is the long term, but we know that corollary from other instances where which causes inflammation of the heart, of the arteries in the body, especially damages the endothelium, is going to cause heart disease and other diseases in the body long term. From that perspective, definitely the nanoparticles, plastic particles, are a major concern for health for long term. So I strongly recommend to as much as possible for us to avoid that. I think number one is all the I mean, whole life has today become uh, you know uh, revolves around plastic material. Whether you want to drinking, you have, have food packaging material. Everything has plastic component. And recently, there is a major study came out to show that how your water bottles contain so much nanoparticle that goes to the body. So as much as possible, we need to avoid that. Second thing also, I'll suggest that anything that we eat, especially vegetables, fruits, etc., we need, we need to thoroughly clean it. At least we'll get, get uh, a large part of the uh, harmful toxins as well as nanoparticles that are attached to that. These are some of the things I'll strongly recommend people to do that. Avoid any plastic material that comes in touch with the food source.